Hey, big bro, how you doing? Yeah, thanks for returning my call. Reason why I'm calling is uh, just a little concerned about dad. You know, I went over there yesterday and he's still setting place, settings at the table for two. You know, mom passed away like over a year ago. So I don't think that he's able to stay in the house no longer. Remember the conversation we had about two years ago in the event that something happens that uh, you'll take him? You don't remember? I can't take him. You know, I'm on tour seven months out of the year, so it would make no sense for me to take him out of one empty house and put him in another. So you don't remember? You remember when you lost your job a couple of years ago and dad moved you and your entire family into his house until you get back on your feet? Oh, you don't remember that neither now, huh? So are you gonna take him or what? Okay, I see you same selfish motherfucker you were when we were growing up. Fuck you. I came over today, Dad, because, you know, as you know, Mom passed away over a year and a half ago, and you're still setting place settings for two. So I'm a little concerned, and I don't think that it's just a good idea at this point in your life to stay here by yourself. I mean, I can't imagine losing somebody that you've been with for 30 plus years, and it's not a day that goes bad that I don't think about Mom. I mean, I miss Mom as much as you do. But I think that uh, I found the facility that, you know, you'll be comfortable in, and these people will take good care of you. But I think it would be in your best interest that, you know, we put you in a place where you'd be taken care of. So I, I, I suppose believe, believe my mother's not here. It's just me. Mother, mother, please, please, baby, give, give my son a sign. <laughs> 